Hi everyone, I'm Chloe Starr. Thank you for tuning in to my show today. So today I'm going to talk about how to um, eat healthier and how to change your lifestyle. Don't. This is not a diet. Do not think of it as a diet. Think of it as changing your lifestyle. That's the only way you can lose weight and keep the weight off. So if you'd like to become a Chloe, please just hit the subscribe button and I will send you details on how you can become a Chloe. And also hit um, comment and hit the like button. Please subscribe, share my video. Um, get my likes and views up there, please. Thank you. So there are nine steps to eat um, to eating healthier and changing your lifestyle. The first step is adopting a healthier attitude towards food. How do you do this? Okay, so many people they they combine sadness with food, or happiness with food, or stress with food. You're not supposed to do that. When you're stressed, you should relieve yourself, as in. Take a hot shower or take a hot bath. Give yourself a facial. Relax. Take a couple of deep breaths. Do when you're stressed. Do not eat. That's where the extra calories and extra pounds come on at. Because people they they add their how they feel to how they eat. You should not overeat. You should not eat whenever you feel sad or whenever you're happy or anything like that. So one way to um, alleviate that is that you can take a walk. Take a long walk or you can even take a hot bath. Talk to a friend on the phone or call a family member. That will also help you out. Number two, determine your calorie intake. The way you determine how many calories you should have to lose weight is take your weight. Okay, say you weigh 150 pounds. You will take your weight and then you'll multiply it by 10. So 150 times 10 will give you 1500. And that's how, that's, that will be your max calorie intake per day if you want to lose weight. Now, if you want to maintain your weight and stop fluctuating, you would take that and just add 300 to it. So you, you weigh 150, you multiply 150 by 10, that gives you 1500 calorie limit a day. But to maintain it, you add 300, that will give you 1800 calorie, calorie limit a day. So, number three, drink plenty of water. Many people don't know, but drinking plenty of water can help you lose weight as well. It tricks your body into thinking that you are full, and that way you eat less. So, drink more water, and it also helps your digestive system. It helps your body um, maintain and regulate the food that comes in, and it pushes it out easier instead of drinking soda that is high in calorie, um, that is high in calories, high in sugar. And it's only going to boost your insulin that your body is pushing out and store more fat. So, number four, eat five small meals a day. Don't eat, don't eat like, don't skip breakfast and then you're going to eat like a 600 calorie, um, a 600 calorie meal for lunch. Don't do that. Just continue, just get up in the morning, even if you don't feel like, um, even if you don't feel like having a small meal, have a small meal in the morning, have a small meal for a snack, have a small meal for lunch, have a small, a small meal for another snack after lunch, and not even meals, have small snacks, and then have a small meal for dinner, and that would help you out as well. Number five, eat slowly. If you eat slow, it gives your body enough time to put, put more food into your stomach, and it also sends signals to it sends signals to your brain telling your brain that you are full. This is how you can also um, to help lose weight. So eat slowly. Don't get don't be so hungry that you have this huge plate of food and you're just so hungry you just don't do that because you're gonna be full, but you're not gonna know you're full because you're not slowing down enough to let your stomach tell your brain, hey. I'm I'm full down here. Stop eating. Don't don't overeat. Stop eating. Number six today will be don't skip breakfast and moderate your food. I myself I I'm susceptible to this. So I, I commit this crime. Yes, yes, I do. I commit this crime. So what does this mean? Don't skip breakfast and moderate your food. When you get up in the morning. For breakfast, have a small breakfast. This is what kickstarts your metabolism for the day, and this is what kickstarts your body to start breaking down food and start getting your metabolism to start burning off the extra fat and extra calories. When you get up, do not have a cup of orange juice. If you want to have orange juice, have a um, have a orange. Or drink water. Do not have orange juice because that will sugar having sugar juices. Um, having soda, having Kool-Aid, all that stuff will send your body your insulin into overload. 
and that will stop your body from breaking down the fats and it will start your body into storing the fats. So do not gorge on juice in the morning because juice, if you read, if you read the um, nutrition label, juice is, is high in sugar and it's not good sugar either. It's, it's high in artificial sweeteners, um, or just bad sugar all the way around the board. So to, alleviate that do not have juice in the morning drink water in the morning that will also help di your digestive your digestive system and will start pushing everything out help you regulate your food help you regulate your metabolism and moderate your food how do you moderate your food so me I, my problem is when i want to go on a diet i just started this life change um this lifestyle change and eat healthier about a couple of months ago when about a month ago when I want to do something, I quit cold turkey, and that's bad, like real bad. And so I went on the low carb, and low carb you can't have sweets. I love bread. Can't have bread on low carb. I I love bread. You know, I'm healthy. I love bread. So with the low carb you can't have bread, and I'm like crap, crap, crap. So I do great for five months, six months. I do great, awesome, no bread at all. And then one day my body is just like, you want bread? And I will go on a binge and I will not stop eating this and I will just keep eating it, keep eating it and keep eating it and keep eating it. But if you moderate your food, if you say, OK, so I'm not going to have this today, but I will substitute it for an apple or I will substitute it for a half a cup of nuts or something like that. And then you have one cheat day. My cheat day will be Wednesday. Those are my cheat days. And on this Wednesday, you eat you eat whatever you want to. But you don't eat like a whole lot of it. You just eat whatever you want to during this day, but in moderation, small little bits. And that's what I have started doing. And it works. This works a whole lot better than cold turkey quitting. That that just doesn't work for me. Sorry. Number seven is know your fats and carbs. Fat. Not all fat is bad fat. Did you know that? I don't think so. So monosaturated fat fatty acids are good fat these are found in nuts and nut oils um olive oil it's found in stuff like that bad fat you know how you like your fried chicken you like the skin extra crispy or you know how you you just like all that fried stuff that's bad fat that's real bad fat animal fats animal oil some vegetable oils are bad fats you have to know which fats to use and which fats not to use. So just know your fats. If you check check the labels, check the labels on everything. Um, great things for cooking: chicken breast without the skin. Do not have the skin. That's bad fats. That has all the stuff that's gonna make your body want to store it. You eat, don't eat the skin. Eat the eat the meat if you're gonna eat. Um, also know your fats. Red meat. That's bad fat. Do pork, um, beef, goat. Anything that has red meat, bad meat. It's horrible. I do not eat red meat. I quit eating red meat. Now, I'll eat the heck out of some turkey. The white meat turkey, not the dark meat. Don't eat the dark meat. Eat the white meat. I eat the heck out of some turkey. Make some homemade gravy out of heavy cream. Off, off the charts. It's awesome. So, do that. Know your fats. Definitely know your carbs. Not all carbs are bad carbs. Okay, all of the bleached bread and the processed breads, that's bad carbs. Now, if you want to have good carbs, eat wheat. Like whole grains, eat whole, I mean oats, eat brown bread, wheat bread. Check check the back of the label. Make sure it does not say processed or bleached. Those are your bad carbs. The brown carbs, it actually, it does, your body can't break it down as fast. And so it starts burning off the fat that surrounds your abdomen and your thighs. That's my problem, my stomach and my thighs. So that's where the white breads are. That's where the white bread starts storing fat. But wheat breads and just whole grains, whole foods, basically, that's what starts to help you digest everything and starts burning off your fat. Number eight would be eat less meat. Our bodies are not designed to eat meat. We I mean, you know, that's just something man has come up with over time as something that you can eat more of. Eat less meat. China does not eat a lot of meat. They eat. And when you, if you are going to eat meat, eat like, you know what a deck of cards look like? Eat a deck of card size meat. Do not eat a lot of meat because it stores 
um, beef, beef stays in your body. It's hard to break down meat. That The meat is just so hard for your body to break down. It's so hard for your body to digest. So just leave the red meats alone or eat less meat. Um, it's this thing called Meatless Monday. Meatless Monday is when you eat all fruits, vegetables, um, whole grains, whole oats, um, legumes, beans, stuff like that. And you don't eat meat. And actually whole grains and vegetables and legumes and beans it gets you more full than meat does meat fills your but meat fills your stomach up halfway and then it constipates you and then but if you eat a whole meal of vegetables fruits it fills your body up completely and it digests it digests better than meat does so if you eat the whole grains the oats and stuff like that your body isn't going to store this fat it's just going to keep it moving down and out the back end. So number nine, this is horrible. This is America's problem. Salt. I don't like salt. I do not use salt personally. I just don't like salt. There's a lot of obesity and high blood pressure that runs on my family and it scares the living crap out of me. So I do not eat salt. And this is this is a major problem. Sodium it boost up your blood pressure it's horrible so leave the salt alone avoid the salt and this is how you can eat healthier and you will also lose weight doing this and you can keep the weight off this is this should not be a diet it should be a life change and this would even if you did do it as a diet it would be a great diet as well but <laughs> i i just don't see it as a diet i see it as a, a life change because when i lose the weight i want to keep the weight off i want to be healthier feel healthier everything not just feel healthy and look healthier for a month so i can wear a bikini to to the beach no not at all okay let's see some other notes today that that concludes our video for today actually so once again you guys subscribe 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 like comment and shoot me an email talk with star at gmail.com and i'll see you guys next time